One day, Linda. <laughs> you already do. <laughs> What's that? It's the music I was telling you about. I was not the Grimbles. Ah! Oh, hell! It's coming. Run for your life, Tom. What's happened? Well, who did this? A dragon. Dragon. Jaws of steel. And a, and a belly of fire. Now it's it, Tony, Tony Twist. Where have you been? Seagull chick. Uh, a bird's a bag. The dragon remembers, Tom. Don't go. Don't go. Get the coffee. What are you uh, doing? A dragon's coming. Don't be a dog. You're joking. Nell thinks she's seen a dragon. Well, she's out of her mind, ranting and raving. She thinks a dragon attacked her in Gaul's cave. Beautiful. That's just what we need. Now keep her in hospital. Don't let her out, whatever you do. Oh, I don't think I can hold her here for long. You know what the silly old goat's like? She wants to get out and go hunting for long lost rubies. Yeah, but she's behind on her mortgage commitments. Now, if she can't pay, we can get a cottage. <laughs> oh, well, I've got her sedated. If she keeps raving about dragons, I could hold her here. Get a doctor to say she's crazy. Yeah, yeah, get her certified. Then there's nothing they can do. All right, darling. Listen, I've got to go. Right, right, right. But don't let her out. If she raises that money, we'll never get that cottage. Bye. Dragons. <laughs> Dragons, eh? Oh, small boys. <laughs> there isn't really a dragon. No, just thinks there is. She's delirious. She thinks I'm someone else. Dragon! 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 She's calling you. Dragon! Not me! You silly boy. <laughs> she thinks there's a dragon in the cave along the cliff. Always known she was crazy. I think she'll be staying with us for quite some time. Can we see her now, please? The hospital isn't run by the visitors. I'll tell you when you can go in. <clears throat> Follow me. <clears throat> now, don't humour her. If she mentions anything about dragons, just say there is no such thing as dragons. An angel. You're the most beautiful angel I've ever seen. She must be delirious. Tom, Tom, don't go down the shack. The dragon. Who's Tom? A nutty brother. He's been dead for years. He used to live in an old shack down past Gaul's cave. The dragon is back. Hide the rubies. There's no such thing as dragons. I've got to get out. I've got to find All right, now, take it easy. Oh, you'll never be able to look after them and a dragon will have you for lunch. You're not going anywhere. As long as you see dragons, you'll remain in my care. Tom, how many legs do dragons have? Oh, two, mate. There's no such thing as dragons. <clears throat> what time's up? Out, 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 out. See you, Nell. Bye, Nell. Tom. Take it easy. Tom. Now, just relax. I love this hour of music. It's one of my favourite tapes, this one. Yeah, that old woman, Nell Rickards, has sewn up. Sewn up? Yeah, in the bag. Uh, in the bag? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, wrapped up. It's a shoe-in, you know. Ah, uh, wrapped up. Ah, she's gone nutty. Paranoid delusions. 
keep seeing dragons. Ah, she'll never be released. And she's got a mortgage payment due tomorrow. She can't get out to make the payment. <laughs> All we gotta do is uh, come in with the biggest offer and the cottage is ours. Ah, I see then there's oil on the land. Oh yeah. Yeah, almost certainly. And of course you've got your whales. You know, tourists will come for miles to see the whales. But uh, you better watch out for the owner of the lighthouse. Hippie. Happy? <laughs> no, not happy. Hippie. It's like a weird artist, you know. Makes crazy statues. Oh, it's absolute rubbish. You wouldn't give it to your mother-in-law. Mother's-in-law. <laughs> Mother's-in-law. <laughs> Mother's-in-law, that's right, yeah. Take it easy. Going forward, Dad. She's an old lady. Oh, here's trouble. Hello, Mr. Gribble. You can't buy the lighthouse again. We're not selling. We're not buying. We purchased Old Nell's cottage. And where is the whale-shaped toilet to go? Yes, I'd see that somewhere about here. <laughs> whale-shaped toilet. And the viewing platform? Yes, that'll go where old Nell's cottage now stands. Ah. What do you think you're doing? Well, my partners and I are inspecting my land, which incidentally you're standing on. I've checked the records and the property line runs to right about there. <laughs> Your land? Well, the cottage is mine. Almost. What about Nell? Yeah, well, I've managed to fix Nell up. She's sewn up in a bag, wrapped up in a shoe. <laughs> she's gone round the twist, so to speak. Now, she's been locked up for everyone's good. She's seeing dragons and having delusions. She's got a mortgage payment due tomorrow and she's got no money. And these gentlemen have plenty. But she needs time to get better. That doesn't make any difference. She's got no money. She keeps rabbiting on about some rubies that used to belong to her Uncle Tom or something. Reckon she knows where they are. What a joke. You can't buy a house. You just watch it. Well, you, you can't put a fence here or anything. Why not? We can't get in. Can't you? What a shame. Well, if you've got a problem, I might be interested in buying your property for a price. $500 for a statue? Yes. No, you're not paying 500 bucks for that piece of junk, are you? Give me a hand, Mr. Grovel. Hey, Pete. These teachers saw a dragon in 1975, and teachers don't lie, so there might be a dragon down there. Oh, sure, mate. We'll just nip on down there and nab them. While we're there, we'll catch a leprechaun and a bunyip as well. <laughs> we have to get Nell out by tomorrow. She'll die if she loses her cottage, and we'll be forced to sell if we don't have access. <laughs> but they'll never let her out while she's going on about dragons. I'll go to a lawyer and I'll go to the council, but we can't let Mr Gribble get that cottage. Now, you lot, stay here. What did happen to Nell? She hurt herself while she was looking for something. The rubies. The rubies in Seagull Shack. What Seagull Shack? Oh, it's this old shack where Nell's weird brother lives, about 10k along the coast. Of course. of course! That's why she was there. She was looking for the rubies so she could pay off a mortgage. We've got to find them. We've got no choice. Come on, let's go. I'm coming too. No, mate, it's too far. We've got to be there and back before dark, and you'll only slow us down. I'm coming. Well, what about the dragon? If someone actually saw it, then they'd have to let Nell out, wouldn't they? I can't catch a dragon on my own. You don't have to, mate. Just got to take a photo of it when it sticks its head out of the cave. OK, I'll do it. Not here, I might as well come with you. Bronson. Listen, mate, just set your camera up here. And right? don't go into that cave. What if I run out of food?
come and get it. Salad sandwiches, chocolate donuts, fresh fruit. Must have run out of ammo. Go shack. Of course, I can see it. To her. I'm not really scared. I'm only a bit scared. I'm only scared stiff. Dragon, where are you? Rubies could be anywhere. If they exist at all. Do you see what I don't see? A ghost girl. I only want a photo. Nothing here. It's no use. We'll never find those rubies. We better head back then. What about the seagulls? Nothing here. Rain? I don't think so. I wonder what's for sweets. Four o'clock. Sounds like they've stopped. No, 
time. Now you open it this time. worse than fate. Drowned in droppings, perished in poop, showered in... I feel a breeze. It's the daylight. Bronson! I must have gone home. Bronson! Oh, let's get back to the hospital. Ghost girl! I knew you should have seen it. It was going to have gone down there. there. You did. I can sell these. That'll stop that mongrel from grabbing my cottage. Where do you think you're going? I'm going out. I'm better. I've got to get to the bank. And the dragon? What about it? <laughs> There's no such thing as dragon. <laughs> you are a silly old fool. You're not going anywhere. I've never seen anything quite like it. In fact, I'm thinking of writing up something in the medical journals. It's a strange case. She seems perfectly normal. Yeah, except for the dragon fantasy. Let her go, she wouldn't have a fly. Well, we can't release her while she thinks she sees a dragon. Uh, obviously not, Doctor. If we could only get her to admit that there wasn't such a thing as dragons, then we'd know she was in touch with reality, and then we might be able to release her, but... Uh... Very risky, Doctor. Hmm. I mean, anyone who believes in dragons... Just because she <laughs> believes in dragons doesn't mean... Uh, you don't believe in dragons, do you, Tony? <laughs> of course not. I found the dragon! I found the dragon! Dad, I found the dragon! Good boy, Bronson. 
Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as dragons. Did you get any pictures, mate? Yeah, I've got lots of terrific photos. But I dropped me camera when the dragon attacked. More wicked lies. But Dad, there is. I saw it. There was two of them. One was dead and one wasn't. It nearly roasted me alive. There's no such thing as dragons. There is. <laughs> is there, Doctor? Well, of course there is. Wait a minute. I've seen one of these before. It is. It's, it, it's an egg. No! Oh! Uh, 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 hello! Tell, tell me a, um, tell me a dragon. Don't, 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 don't say it. There's no such thing. It's dragon. It's dragon. Such thing as dragon. There's no such Gosh. thing as dragon. What, ah! ten seconds? Okay. Smile, everybody. Look at the camera. Smile. Together.